The right-leaning Alternative for Germany, or AFD party, has proposed verifying the age of all migrants coming into the country, an idea that's been roundly condemned by all other parties in the Bundestag. RT's Peter Oliver reports. Well, if the right-wing populists alternative for Germany thought that getting into the Bundestag was going to be the hard part, they've certainly been brought back down to earth with a bump over the last couple of days since the German parliament has convened. On Friday, the AFD have put forward changes they wanted to see to laws relating to uh, asylum and refugee status here, particularly when it came to the ages of those claiming refugee status in Germany. Now, the alternative for Germany say that between 30 and 80 percent of those that have applied in the past haven't been the age they said they were. Uh, this was turned upon by the, uh, the other parties within the Bundestag, every single one of them to a man, saying that the alternative for Germany was wrong in doing this. And in fact, um, when the proposals were put forward, they were greeted by boos in the chamber. <laughs> making no bones about it, they disagree strongly with AFD and all of their policies. One could get the impression our position is close to that of the AFD. But if you just look through their proposal and listen to what they are saying here, you realize that it's all about attacking migrants. The proposal of the AFD is permeated with right populism. It ignores reality. Whoever seen the wording of the proposal and heard the speech of the AFD representative will recognize instantly that it's not about the improvement of age verification, but about stirring up animosity against young migrants. The kind of rhetoric we've heard from the AFD goes against our Christian values. It's all about hate towards foreigners, and this we cannot support. We also saw it on Thursday in the parliamentary session that was held. The alternative for Germany put forward an idea that the one of the reasons behind a rise in anti-Semitism in Germany had been due to the influx of um, Islamic immigration. That was then shot down uh, many parties, including Angela Merkel's Christian uh, Democratic Union, saying that anti-Semitism had its roots in the far right um, in politics in Germany and elsewhere around. So that's where we stand at the moment for them. If they've just entered no, Parliament last, um, last September following the election. This is the first time that they're really getting their teeth into legislation. It's not going well if you're an alternative for Germany supporter anyway at the moment. All of the other parties coming together, uniting as one, something we can't find them doing over any other issue here in Germany, to say no to the AFD and no to their policies.